Hi, Guy Shembury from WeatherTech Roofing here. Um, today is going to be 113 degrees. So we're going to be pulling our guys off the roofs early just for their own safety uh, and well-being. Um, question was posed to me of why you get home, you run your air conditioner and it runs and runs and runs and runs and then it shuts off after two hours, two and a half hours maybe. If it's running longer than that before it shuts off, you have insulation problems. But basically, you go home, it runs for two hours, and then it shuts off. You think, oh my God, it took that long to cool down the house. And about the time you have that thought, it kicks back on. And I was asked why that occurs. Well, the reason it occurs is because you turn on your air conditioner, and basically it changes the temperature of all the ambient air in the house, you know, everything around you. It brings it down to whatever you have it at, let's say it's 76 degrees brings that temperature down to 76 degrees and it shuts off. Now the air temperature is 76 degrees. Now your couch, your tables, your furniture, your walls, all of those have been absorbing heat all day long. Now you've cooled off the air. Now all that heat's releasing out of the furniture, out of the walls and everything else. And so it doesn't take very long for that air temperature to kick right back up you know, to 80 some odd degrees. And that's why your air conditioner kicks back on. Okay, additionally, it was pointed out to me, don't forget your attic space. Your attic space gets like 160 to 180 degrees. To, you know, today it's gonna to be 113. That attic's gonna be 175, guaranteed. That is what needs the proper ventilation. The trick to handling this and getting rid of it is having your attic properly ventilated, properly insulated, and you know, if you can do a whole house fan, have a whole house fan. Um, you open up all your windows in the morning, turn on the fan, whatever, and move that air around and draw the heat out of your house. When you're getting ready to leave for work, preferably let's say 7.30, because about then the temperature starts changing again, shut everything down, close all your windows. And when you get home, it'll be easier to cool your house. Uh, ventilation of your roof is a key component to the health of your home and your health. Um, if it's not releasing heat during the summertime, you're paying big bucks to cool off your home. In the wintertime, it also is trapping moisture, which creates mold and mildew. So you want it to ventilate year round. Uh, if you have any questions about ventilation you know, and you have misconceptions or you want to know more, give me a call here at WeatherTight Roofing, 951-929-0557 or you can check us out on our website and click on a link for contact. Okay, we're at weathertagroofing.com. Take care.